what was speculated for months, has finally turned out to be true. Daniel Ricciardo is leaving McLaren at the end of the season. But what are the reasons for that? Welcome to our Formula 1 channel, where you get the news, latest updates and everything about Formula 1. Now there are no more dilemmas. Daniel Ricciardo will no longer drive for McLaren in Formula 1. In a short post on Twitter, McLaren confirmed this news. McLaren Racing and Daniel Ricciardo have reached an agreement for Daniel to lead the team at the end of the 2022 season. The team would like to thank Daniel for his commitment and contribution, including the great win at Monza. We are looking forward to a good joint finish of the season, they said for McLaren. It has been an honor to be part of the McLaren family for the last two seasons, but after several months of discussions with Zach and Andreas, we have finally decided to short my contract and part ways by mutual consent at the end of the season, said Ricciardo. Ricciardo added that apparently things were not going in the right direction and that the team was not satisfied with his performances. So they are aware that they have to make some changes. Both the team and I wanted everything to work flawlessly, but it didn't. That's why the people from McLaren decided to change something for the next year. We talked and together we came to the conclusion that it's best for everyone, said Ricciardo. Although he knows that he will not be part of the team next year, according to the Australian, this will not affect his attitude in the rest of the season. I will do my absolute best, as usual. As for the future, I don't know anything yet. We'll see, Ricciardo said. Although he has offers from the United States, Ricciardo will most certainly stay in Formula 1. Alpine and Hayes are mentioned as the main candidates to hire him. For the early termination of his contract with McLaren, Ricciardo will receive about $24 million. Daniel Ricciardo is not the first driver to terminate his contract with a team in Formula 1. The legendary and tragically deceased Arian Senna once did that. The legendary Senna signed Tolman to his first Formula 1 contract, which ran from 1984 to 1986. But the flamboyant hand quickly attracted the attention of richer teams. So it was no wonder when Lotus crashed on its buyout clause. One of his biggest rivals, Alain Prost, also experienced in his career the leave of the team before the end of his contract. The dismissal of Alain Prost at Ferrari in 1991 is one of the most famous in the history of Formula 1. But this driver was also the target of controversy in the early 80s, when he first moved from McLaren to Renault. And then in 1984 he returned to McLaren, with which he won three titles. Two-time world champion Fernando Alonso, who will continue to compete in Formula 1 next season, also terminated his contract with the aforementioned Italian team. When two-time world champion signed for Ferrari in 2010, it seemed to be the start of a successful and trophy winning era. The Spaniard was fighting for the title, but in 2014 there was a conflict with the team, so the option to extend the contract until 2019 fell away. Not only that, Alonso left Ferrari the following year and went to McLaren. Kimi Raikkonen also left Ferrari prematurely. The winner of the last title for Ferrari in 2010 was crossed out after the arrival of Fernando Alonso. The Italian team was forced to pay 25 million to free the Finn. When Nico Rosberg unexpectedly retired after winning the 2016 title, Williams Valtteri Watts was seen as his replacement. However, Williams had no intention of giving them up so easily, given that he was on a contract with them. In the end, the compensation of much as 10 million euros was paid. Ralph Schumacher started an adventure with Jordan in 1997, and despite a promising first season, major problems arose already in the second. Ralph's brother Michael also got involved, and everything ended with Schumacher leaving prematurely and switching to Williams. Sergio Perez had a contract with Racing Point until 2021, so in theory he could stay with the team even when it changes his name to Aston Martin. However, during the 2020 season it was clear that there would be a premature split after talks of bringing Sebastian Vettel began. It is quite clear that McLaren is not satisfied with the performances that the Australian driver provided for his team and the set driver failed to use his full potential of the car he owns. In his career so far, Ricciardo has recorded 8 victories in Formula 1. He recorded his best performances when he drove for Red Bull. Driving for this team, he twice finished the season in 3rd place in the general standings. As for McLaren driving for this team, he achieved only one victory last year in Monza when both he and Lando Norris took place at the podium. It is actually the only podium that Ricciardo won for his team. This is inefficient for the ambitions of the mentioned team, which grow from season to season. This season, Ricciardo's best finish was on home soil in Australia, when he finished 6th and only scored 4 points. The performances are much weaker than the previous season, and as a logical sequence of circumstances, the termination of the contract with McLaren followed. 
Lando Norris fit in much better with the team in their car. This season, Norris won points as many as 10 times, and on the track of Imola, he won a place on the podium. In terms of performance, for a Formula 1 driver to pull off performances, he needs to be fully one with the car. We didn't manage to be as comfortable as Lando was, especially when it came to pushing to the absolute limit. We put a lot of effort team side to see what we can do car side to help him. He put in a lot of effort as well, but we still didn't manage to unlock these percentages that we were missing," said McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel. McLaren wants to be more competitive with the teams at the top and not fight for fourth position with Alpine, who are reportedly interesting in Ricciardo returning to their ranks. Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes have two equally good drivers, while Ricciardo is evidently trotting for Norris and is far from the level provided by the young British driver. Lando is clearly one of the superstars of the sport, and the goal is to have two drivers that can race each other hard, as you see in George Russell and Lewis Hamilton at the moment, or Carlos and Charles, and even Sergio and Max are racing each other hard. So I didn't see why we shouldn't be able to feel two very competitive cars, said CEO Zach Brown. Ricciardo intends to stay in Formula 1 next season. Although there have been some rumors that he could drive for McLaren in some other racing series, such as IndyCar, Extreme E and Formula E. In a post on Instagram after the termination of his contract, he seemed quite disappointed, because he tried to record the best possible performances for the mentioned team, but still things did not go in the right direction he and his team wanted it. Ricciardo is a really good driver with a lot of experience in Formula 1, and surely other teams will be interested in cooperation after breaking up with McLaren. For now, Alpine is the favorite for his signature. This team was most often mentioned as the new environment in which Ricciardo will perform in the coming seasons. In the meantime, it was mentioned that Ricciardo could continue his career at pace. It seems a bit surprising that the US side are interested in his services, given his disappointing form. On the other hand, Hayes probably wants an experienced driver who, with the changes made to the car, would take the team to a higher level. So for now, there's an interest in Ricciardo staying in Formula 1, and we will see what decision he will make. It will also be interesting to see what kind of performances he will record in the future for the team with which he had terminated his contract with. Maybe Daniel will try to show that McLaren made a mistake. As for the mentioned team, it has the ambition to find a driver who has the same potential as Lando Norris, and who will be able to provide much more in their car than what Ricciardo gave the team. As the first pick to replace Ricciardo, Oscar Piastri is mentioned, who is a compatriot of the guy who is leaving McLaren at the end of the season. Piastri has won championships in Formula 2 and Formula 3 so far in his career, and Alpine recognized his potential after which he joined their academy. This season he is the reserve driver of the aforementioned team, but he has ambitions to compete in one of the teams in Formula 1 for next season. But as things stand, it will not be Alpine. For several weeks there have been talks about his negotiations with McLaren and that he will become the new driver of this team. The news was not confirmed because of the fate of the aforementioned Ricciardo was not known. Now that it is clear that Ricciardo will no longer drive for McLaren, the chances are high that Piastri will be the new driver of the team. For now, no other names have been mentioned. What do you think? In which team will Ricciardo continue his career and who will replace him at McLaren? Write us in the comments, like and share this video, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel.